Well, hello YouTube and welcome back to Cooking with Retired for Life. So today is going to be something a little different for me. There's a company called Azoko, A-S-O-K-O, -O, that has seen my cooking videos and they contacted me and have suggested an upgrade for me and something that they would like me to trial. So they have sent me a two pack of an under cabinet motion sensor light. Now it looks pretty interesting, so it'll be fun to play with. So this company specializes in providing high quality home LED lighting. And I'll put a link to their uh, website in the description so you can check it out and see all the different types of lights they have. There is a pretty good variety of things. So full disclosure, I am not paid for this, but they did supply me with a set of lights to look at and I told them that I would give them an honest review. So let's have a look at what's in the package here. So this is everything that comes with it. So we've got a USB power supply, cable, two lights that are connected together, and one of the lights has the uh, motion sensor on it. We've got different, two different types of mounting uh, system. It looks like you can just use these double-sided sticky tape to put it in place, or you can use these clips. And there is also a set of cable clips, which is nice to get the cables out of the way. That's the box it came in. And a little bit of bubble wrap. And it came with a, a sheet of general instructions and a card that gives you a quick response number and their website and that type of thing. So I and we'll put the first one up. Now I'm thinking, I think I'm going, I think I'm going to put this about uh, three inches back from the front face of the cabinet. The one thing I don't want to have happening is to have them come on every time somebody walks into the kitchen. So I'm hoping they're not that sensitive. All right, let's plug it in. Now I saw a couple of flashes there as soon as we plugged it in. And let's see what happens. Oh, I like that. All right, the light has gone off. And if I walk in here, nice. So let's see how long it stays on for. Okay, there we go. One minute and it goes off. All right, so one of the things I don't want to see happen is I don't want this light to come on every time I come into the kitchen. How close do I have to get to trigger it? All right, I am right up next to the cabinet, and there it goes. That's really good. So the sensor is on the first light here. I have to get really close to that before the light comes on, and that's perfect. And it does provide a pretty nice extra bit of light under here. This area has always been kind of dark, but now, it's quite well lit. I like that. They're not going to come on every time I walk in here, but they will come on when I come over to work on this counter. So, so far, I would give these lights a definite thumbs up. I really like them. Now, the lights work well, but the one criticism I do have for them is the instructions. Now, we've got this little piece of paper here that has instructions that I think are pretty general purpose and includes a lot of their different lights. They actually talk about a battery that needs to be charged and that type of thing. That I found a little bit confusing. Now I did contact their, uh, their support center uh, via messaging and they were very good. I got uh, all the questions I had answered right away. So their support is definitely a thumbs up. All in all, I'm very pleased with this. That really looks good. So we're gonna leave these up for a little while 
and see how well things work. I've got a cooking video coming up in a week or so time and we'll uh, revisit them then and see how it's going. So my opinion of these right now, definite thumbs up. I would say they are worth it. They are quite reasonably priced. For the two pack, it's $29.99 from Amazon. I'll put a link for that in the description as well. So you can have a look at that, click on that link, and that's gonna take you right to this product. All right, folks, so that's gonna be it for today's informational upgrade video. I hope you found it interesting, and don't forget to check out that link and go have a look at those lights and let me know what you think. I'd be very curious to hear back from you. So thanks again for watching. Remember to stay safe out there, be good to each other, and we will see you out on the trails the next time.